Hi, this is Andy Mitchell. I'm a writer illustrator and I'm here today with Studio 5 and we're going to be talking about children's book illustration. We're going to talk about demystifying illustration as part of the children's book process. Uh, first we're going to talk about plussing the story and we'll tell you what that is. Then we're going to talk about storyboarding as an important part of the process of making a, the visuals for a children's book. And then lastly we're going to talk about the publishing team and how they work together. Plusing the story is what we're going to talk about first. It's a term that comes to us from the animation industry, and essentially what it means is uh, where the illustrator is adding visually to the written word or text of the story. What is an example of plusing the story from children's literature or from your own career? Well, in animation, I think, uh, is not so much the story we're plusing, but it's the uh, images, the uh, graphics. Um, the idea is that there are various departments in an animation studio from writing to storyboarding to layout and to background painting and uh, it's sort of a way that we work uh, whenever we get a project from the person before us like I would be a layout man and the storyboard would come to me I would be expected to make it be even better than I received it. As an illustrator you want to do the best you can to make the, the book as sellable and as wonderful as you can. So when you get this manuscript fresh out, all white pages ready to be interpreted, you see it in your head and you storyboard it and you pick the moments that you want to come alive. And I know that's something Bob's really wonderful at, is picking the right moment to animate. Yeah, it has to be the dramatic highlight, I would say. It's not only a matter of picking the most dramatic moment, but it's also um, picking that moment almost right before something happens. You also um, build, build it by creating the visual point that's either dramatic to plot or dramatic through emotion of what's happening in the story. You can, you can pick different high points that way. When an illustrator pluses this story, is he or she changing the story in any way? Well, I think mostly not so much the written word because we considered, we had great respect for the writers as artists and they had respect for us. I think it goes against the, the definition of the word. Uh, plusing is supposed to be enhancing the story and the, and the visuals. It's, it's not supposed to be replacing and changing. That's actually editing. What is an example of plusing the story in children's literature or in your own career? One of the ways an uh, artist can really plus the story is by doing their research. I just finished a book that's coming out this uh, October called The Toymaker's Christmas, and I wanted to do paper toys that had a winter and Christmas theme, but I wanted it to have a little edge to it. So I researched a lot of uh, Art Nouveau artists and slipped them into the design. I'm actually working on a story right now. Um called Beach Day. What I'm seeing in this story are things that can be added to each and every page that enhance the visuals, enhance the story, and I think that kind of improvement adds extra layers to the experience of the reader, regardless of the age of that reader. I might point out as a, as a great example of blessing the story in children's literature, uh, the Michael Rosen's sad book uh, that's illustrated by Quentin Blake. Um, it is a good story that it's hard to imagine without Quentin Blake's imagery that really takes the story to a much higher level and, and that creates greater emotional impact just by what he brings to it. When I'm plussing a story for a kid's book, what I'm trying to do is add more story just through the visuals that will reward the reader for in the first time they're reading through it and then hopefully, again, reward them again when they come back with a deeper understanding and, and uh, possibilities for the book. Um, an example of that would be on my Draw 50 book where all we had to do was teach kids to draw a certain creature um, out of mythology or, or uh, a fable. But what I tried to do was make each creature actually a character with its own story. One of the things I've noticed that Alice and Martin Provenson did when they illustrated books, especially like in their, their mythology book, is they gave a sense of place and they also gave a real sense of drama. Thanks, this was a lot of fun. I hope everybody got a lot out of this. I wanted to thank Studio 5 for helping me out with this today. I wanted to thank Right On Con for putting together this great event. And lastly, I wanted to let you know that you can find out more information about Studio 5 and see our illustration there at www.studio5art.org.